Committee Hebrew Ethics Disclaimer The content created and shared here is solely for educational purposes only. Regarding medical conditions and treatments, it is in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counsel or as a treatment or cure for any disease or health condition and nor should it be construed or treated as such. One special food to consider fungi. This food, which in ancient times was eaten only by the select, gives you optimum health, physical and spiritual. Scientists today have proved that it is the most important food ever. The best it originated in the wild, specifically in ancient Africa. Genetically modification now has taken over and the researchers the world over are fast adopting a standard called CRISPR-Cas9 to tinker with the genomes of humans, viruses, bacteria, animals, and plants. And therefore, we should now be careful of its effectiveness. Do you know, in Africa, the majority of temples with countless pillars are like this plant, shaped exactly like this plant, the Jeddah here, as well as this fantastic building, are shaped in the shape of this plant. Ancient Africans in Egypt have their crowns also, the white and the triple crowns inspired from a specific family of this living organism. The HIST 1550 BCE prescriptions 8992 deal with the treatment of skin abrasions or contusions using the recipes and treatment from this plant. Thousands of members of these provide both physical and spiritual properties. In ancient times only, few individuals like kings and smart wise ones were allowed to eat it for a specific reason. Here is an intoxicating fact again concerning this plant. There is not an animal alive on earth today whose taste cannot be duplicated from a specific or from some of these plants. You can select chicken, cow, fish, lobster, pig, turkey or any animal, prepare it and it will taste exactly as the animal you have selected and the meat that you desire. So you can be a vegan or a vegetarian and still enjoy the taste of these uh, animals. That's how some of us are living. There are literally thousands of species of this natural food. As much as there are thousands edible ones, there are also thousands similar and same that will kill you instantly or harm you if you eat them with no knowledge. They look alike, they, but they are poisonous. Here is the caution. Do not eat anything without knowing exactly what this is. Some are harvested once a year. I also heard that some are harvested only once in seven years. And others are harvested weekly and today, perhaps of genetic modification, they are harvested daily. So avoid some of these. Our ancestors early in our civilization understood and discovered the power both spiritual and physically from this food. The spiritual and physical benefits. It is so much about it. Which food is this? Let us allow and give permission to the owner of Dr. Sebi to reveal part of the answer. Um. Swaziland is a country that grows something that would change your thinking in four hours. Where you used to be 400 years ago, you will go back in a matter of four hours. That product is the Stoparia cubensis. That is a product that the people in Africa ate. And this is why the people in Swaziland was never conquered because they could see what the British was going to do before they even did it. Right. Sir, I have it now. But you will have to stand for that. What's it called? Stropharia cubensis. S-T-R-O-P-H-A-R-I-A. Stropharia cubensis. C-U-B-E-N. Fungi connects and opens our portals which have incredible frequency that allows us to tune to the perfect harmony of the universe and its natural laws. Dr. Sebi has confirmed that and many many others have confirmed that but many have abused that. All mushrooms are fungi but not all fungi are mushrooms. Fungi are very difficult to observe. What we call mushroom is only the tip of the iceberg of a much bigger and essential invisible single organism that lives most of its life underground. From the tree of life we know that we've got animals of living organisms, we've got plants, 
We've got bacteria and we've got the third one now, which is fungi. This is very important. There it is, the mushroom, hamakoe, uyoga, hoa, choa, iro. They look like this. The English word mushroom derives from the old French Masorian, which derives from the Latin musirio, meaning moss. The latest estimates suggest that there are as many as 5.1 million fungal species in the world. So they are a lot. The first strain of uh, Silosibai, Cubensis, in wide circulation, originated from the African continent. This is scientific. It's well known. There is the lion man mushroom. It looks like that. Fantastic foods. There is beach polymer. It looks like that. Grows on trees and grows uh, on rocks. Benefits of mushrooms. Mushrooms are low in calories but are super rich with uh, nutrients. They assist you in uh, managing your weight. Fungi is great for people who are watching their weight. Studies show that consuming mushrooms regularly results in healthy body weight, reduced weight gain, and a better overall health. They also help with uh, reducing effects of diabetes. They relieve asthma and other allergies. Mushrooms treat asthma by correcting the imbalance in the immune system and reducing the number of inflammatory cells. They also boost your immune uh, system. Mushrooms. Should you eat them raw or cooked? You should also know that you should eat 50% raw and 50% cooked. That's the balance that we have, that we know from our ancient ancestors. So there are varieties of mushrooms. Edible mushrooms are today available in supermarkets and farmers markets. But the, we have already given you the warning that most of them are genetically modified. So you must get the wild, naturally growing ones, not one from the laboratories or from factories. Most popular like the button mushrooms, also known as champignon, non de Paris, cremini, portobello, porcine, oyster, shiitake, which Dr. Sebi disqualified, morels, hen of wood, which is in Shona known as guku or inkuku. Mushrooms are used in a variety of recipes. So you can have mushrooms as tea or you can smoke them as cigarettes. Medicinal mushrooms. Fungus is thought to protect against a breast cancer. Scientifically, it has been proved that the hormone dependency system prevents the estrogen producing aromatase enzyme. That's our problem. So, white pattern, the prostate health and breast cancer helper. Pattern mushrooms, the world's most commonly eaten mushrooms, have grown wild and been eaten by humans since the times of hunter gatherers. So, you must eat this to prevent prostate and other breast cancer issues. Chandra Lair, the metabolism booster. This gives you the power through uh, vitamins B1, B2, B3. These vitamins play fundamental roles in converting food into energy and keeping the nervous system healthy. You can visit and study a lot from this Compressor Piero, the Magic Harvest uh, website that we are showing or uh, here on this uh, slide. Origin Black Truffle is the one that promotes bliss if you want to be happy to uh, uh, to be excited and just be blissful this is what you want to have it is the one that promotes bliss you can study more from this uh website you can this is the chanterelle we have spoken about that gives you uh stability your nervous system and energy looks like that so you must eat the wild not the genetically modified our ancestors who discovered the ability of mushrooms in assisting its users to experience reality gave us a warning because it will take you into other dimensions and there are so many dimensions it may take you to the dimension that you might not need to go before we share this aspect of magic mushrooms or spiritual mushrooms or divine mushrooms or sons of god mushrooms we care to read a note from our ancestors from the book of coming forth by day this is our disclaimer and you shall perform these ceremonies secretly in the Oata, chamber of the tomb for there are mysteries of the Oata, and they are symbolic of the things which are done in Karute Natera. Let no stranger anyway have knowledge of it. Do not speak about it to any man. Do not repeat it. Let no other eye see it. Let no other ear hear it. Let no one see it except thyself and him who taught you. Let not the multitude know of it accept thyself and the beloved friend of thy heart you can read more about this we have covered all the areas and we have not revealed the secret but what we are going to do we give you the highlights only so we have given the caution and here is our side the top of the rung is the lesson that certain mushrooms induces immortality therefore they 
included these mushrooms in their beer, in their salsa, as relish, and even smoked it. Smoked some of it. Every African who aspires to meet their ancestors in other realms must first become like an Ausaris or Ausari or Ausari like that. Green. Yes, correct. I've given the clue there. And also experience the eye of Horesu. You can study this and the other scholars have given it there. But scholars are limited by their scholastic paradigms. Here we are just giving you clues and those that with, with ears to hear are hearing further than what scholars do. Again, the different stages of Silos bias Gubensis, Primordia A and B, represented by the Triple Crown or Hem Hem. There is the mushroom our ancestors wore them as a crown, the Triple and the Crown and the White Crown. White mushrooms were known as the sons of gods. Sent to earth by lightning, there is the power. There it is. I've given another clue there. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics revealed that pharaohs, Thought mushrooms were sacred herbs that you could consume to become immortal. You can become a pharaoh. I've given another key there. It's not necessarily the one who sat on the throne, but you can become a pharaoh. And only pharaohs were allowed to eat them. So if you are not a pharaoh and you have not become a pharaoh and you eat them and you hope to do what they did, they won't do it because there is a key that is missing. You cannot unlock that. There it is, more of it. This is the pin stage primordium of uh, Silosi by Gubensis, strikingly resembling the crowns of our ancient ancestors. The red crown of North Aloha Hemet. It represents something we are going to reveal what it represents. Red and white double crown of unified Hemet. It represents something, another action that we have already spoken of. And the white crown of the South or Upper Egypt, Southern Africa. It represents something that we are going to show. All this you can find stuff in ancient uh, writings and ancient uh, drawings in Africa. There we are now revealing the meaning of those crowns and the power of the mushroom. The source of this material is given here. Maha Ank Volume 2. And also the website is given here, which you can visit and study and see. The white headjet, <coughs> crown of Hamiti, it represents the black lens or upper Hemet or upper Egypt, Southern Africa, which represents the black U, the black triangle like that. And also the red dash red or Lashura. Crown of Tasseti, the red lens, or lower Egypt, or desert, represent you, it's blood, it's you, the physical you, represent like that. So when you combine the two through ceremonies that we are talking about, you become a united self, yourself, both as a nation, as well as both in your individual capacity. Divine mushrooms. The African white crowns or hajuti or hajetu was shaped like the pin stage primordium like this in southern Africa. That's where it came from, sub-Saharan Africa. Nowhere else. There you are. We are giving the, 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 the image there. This mushroom is considered an ethiogen. What's ethiogen? Ethios is Greek, which means filled with God. That's the magic mushroom. That's the divinity we are speaking of. That's the spirituality we are giving here. And gen, genesis, generation means to make. So it will make you divine. That's the key. We have given it already. On the other hand, scientists tell us that it contains psychotropic uh, chemicals, psilocybin and uh, psilocin, which is also found in hemp, marijuana, now known to... Uh, be psychedelic to have psychedelic effects which are divine and induces immortality the triple crown hujute or angu represents this there you can see the psilocybin again shaped it there and there you can see the other mushroom and a lot of mushrooms are shown in this image find them and there is the anobis or anobisa with the ank of life combining everything into a symbolic power or symbolic meaning which we also experience physically as well as spiritual. Here is a caution, a very important caution. If you do not know and you do not have the keys, you should not have this. You should not eat this. Single dose of hallucinogenic mushrooms may alter your personality forever. It depends on the dimension where you are going. You may lock yourself in a frequency that you will never be able to come out of. This also was found said in the Daily Mirror. So be careful. Wild mushrooms were the sons of the gods sent to earth by lightning. This is also where the Bible has hidden a lot of stuff using the word mana. And mana is a Bantu derived word 
kwa known as manana kujika kwe minana divine spiritual miraculous and also it's clear there in that book ancient uh, egyptian hieroglyphs review that pharaohs you, we have saw, said how you can become that thought mushrooms were also they knew they can make you uh, become immortal and they can only allow you to access those frequencies that we speak of they they are poisonous ones you should be careful and not consume them as directed by many many websites that's a poison there eh? Also, scientists figured out how mushrooms open their mind. Our ancestors had already done that. Ancient Africans in Egypt reached the higher states of thought and reality using mushrooms. It is time we uh, start to consume uh, this food under specific ceremonies. Our African ancestors used it to commune via trains with the other dimensions. In ancient times, they were eaten only by the kings and the pharaohs. Uh, they give us unlimited optimum health and spiritual gateway to other dimensions. Scientists have now proved that it is one of the most important food which our ancestors knew before the scientists. Unfortunately, a lot of what is available today is genetically modified. Yet, seek out and enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Hebrew Ethics. This is preacher Rabbi L.M. Tumizulu. This is our email. Contact us on lmtumizulu at gmail.com. Uh, Tatenda, siabonga. Uh, have a great life. Enjoy your mushrooms.